Hey guys! From country sweetheart to princess of pop, Swift's career is as impressive as her real estate collection. For each face of Taylor's image, there's a property that goes with it. Currently, the singer's net worth is valued in $360 million, of which 81 are invested in properties all around the US. Rumor has it that over the past years, she's been looking to expand her portfolio to London, home of her boyfriend Joe Alwyn. I'm Sofia Amado, and these are the 7 most luxurious Swift properties. Number 7 is the Adelicia Tower apartment. Nashville, Tennessee, witnessed the beginnings of her real estate empire and of her music career. In 2009, when her second album was a success all around the world, and at only 20 years old, Swift bought her first property, an apartment that sits in the luxurious Adelicia building right in the heart of Music Row District, home of multiple record labels, radio stations and recording studios. She designed this 3,000 square foot condo herself with her whimsically girly style. I couldn't find current photos of its inside, but in the official website of the 18 story tower, there are images of similar apartments. Among them, we can distinguish all of the luxuries and amenities offered by the building like a gym, a heated lab pool, a private lounge with catering kitchen and rails, conference rooms, a private dog park and 24-hour security and concierge services. She purchased this apartment in 2009 for $1.99 million. Number 6. The Northumberland Estate Located in the elite suburb of Forest Hills, also in Nashville, Tennessee, the Greek Revival Estate was purchased by Swift in 2011 as a loving gift for her parents. The sprawling abode that boasts more than 5,600 square feet has celebrity neighbors as Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban. It was built in 1934 by the US ambassador to Denmark at the time, Guilford Dudley Jr. The main residence has four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms and an amazing outside pool. It also has a 2,000 square foot guest house that features two bedrooms and two bathrooms. At present, this property is still part of Taylor's collection and she paid just two and a half million dollars for it in 2011. The fifth place goes to her Tribeca condo. This property is situated in 155 Franklin Street in the star-studded neighborhood of Tribeca. In 2018, Swift went apartment shopping for the third time to this exclusive location. This seems to be her favorite block in all of New York, as she already had there a delightful house with garage and a duplex in a condo building, which apparently weren't enough because she visited this block once again and acquired an apartment in the same building as her duplex. With 3,500 square foot, this property has three rooms, two and a half bathrooms, a 58 foot long great room, a wood-burning fireplace, a large library, and a chef's kitchen to practice one of her main hobbies. The singer purchased this condo in 2018 for the impressive amount of $9.75 million. Place number 4 goes to High House. Taylor purchased this 12,000 square foot vacation home in 2013 after her breakup with John F. Kennedy's grandson. This mansion built in 1930 sits atop the highest point in Watch Hill, Rhode Island, next to the beach. It features 8 rooms, 9 bathrooms, 8 fireplaces, a dining room sitting 8 and an outstanding outdoor terrace. Its pool was the site of notable parties with celebrities like Cara Delevingne, Titi Hadid and Carly Kloss. This property was previously called Holiday House. Yep, this is the house featured in her new song, The Last Great American Dynasty, from her latest album Folklore, which narrates the story of its previous owner, Rebecca Harness, with whom Taylor has a lot in common, like the scandalous parties, being the center of criticism and not being a very beloved neighbor. She bought this vacation house in 2013 for the incredible amount of $17.75 million. Starting the top 3 is her Tribeca house. In 2017, Swift bought a house in the same city, same neighborhood and same block as her duplex. This four-story edifice 
spans 1500 square feet and boasts four rooms, four and a half bathrooms with limestone heated floors, hot tub and cascade showers, a main living room with a beautiful skylight, a small home theater, a gym, a spa steam bath and even a bar. It also has a feature almost impossible to find in New York, a large private roof deck with glass walls. The amount she paid for it left real estate agents speechless. Apparently 18 million is more than double the price of a similar property, but she just wanted an anti-paparazzi garage, and those are quite hard to find in the city of skyscrapers. Number 2 is your first Rebecca purchase, a duplex. In 2014, T Swift showed her interest for Tribeca for the first time and was on the lookout for her next investment. She chose not one but two penthouses in an 1882 building. Originally, these apartments belonged to the Lord of the Rings director, Peter Jackson, who purchased them in 2018. This 8300 square feet duplex has 10 bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, a reception room with bar, a library, a game room and a chef's kitchen. The total amount she paid for both apartments was $20 million. Before uncovering the top mansion, here's a curious fact. Taking all of Taylor's New York properties into account, we can say she owns almost $50 million in just one block. And on top, we got her Beverly Hills mansion. If there's a grand jewel, it's this historic Beverly Hills mansion in Los Angeles, California. This 10,000 square foot estate belonged to the film producer Samuel Goldwyn, the T of MGM or Metro Goldwyn Mayer, one of Hollywood's most renowned film production companies. To honor his career, Taylor restored the property to its original 1934 condition, the year that it was built. This estate reflects clearly Hollywood's golden age and boasts seven bedrooms. 10 bathrooms, a pool, a tennis court, a home theater, a guest house, and some spectacular sights. Taylor acquired all of these luxuries in 2015 for the impressive amount of $25 million, and it's where she spends most of her time when in Los Angeles. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and tell me in the comments what you think about Taylor's amazing real estate portfolio. Thanks for watching, guys! See you in the next video.